Yeah, I have a feeling this one's going to be over pretty quickly. You might be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't jinx it, but uh, I can see Uwe Choi going out you know, on the front foot. I, I am excited about this. I can I just have no idea how this is going to turn out. Uwe Choi is very confident in striking. The moment there, we go. Straight, straight for the shoot. She just shot in straight away. He didn't want a part of his striking game. But nothing to set it up. It doesn't seem like. Oh. Yeah, it was a it was a shot from very far out. Vegeta's coming. Uppercut there. Oh, that's a nice knee to the body. Right hand, just set up, guys. ready to go. That's right. Just ready to let it go. Just launch it. He's starting to breathe a little heavy already, these open weight guys. I mean, at the age they are, look at that. Ube Choi showing that he can yeah. still move. No, yeah, he's actually been working on the, these movements and a little bit on more on the striking instead of just going just head on. Doing a little bobbin and weaving. Oh, oh, but he got caught there. But he's all right, though. Yeah, he's regained it. He just uppercutted his way out of it. Yeah, he still looks a little wobbly. He felt the power there of Fujita. There it is again. Looking to weave and get inside, but he drops his hands when he does that. But it confuses the heck out of his opponents. <laughs> you don't know where he's going to go. And he, he went in. Slight contact. Whoa, oh. so much. Yeah, he got caught there. Which choice he's going to have to get back to his feet. He's going to have to do something quickly here. The ref's ended in. It. The ref ended it. That's it. Wow, just completely uh, just overpowered him there, you know, with those yeah. constant strikes from that position. Uh, Choi, I'm not sure if he's confused or... He days, man. Yeah, he was... Because he looked at the ref like, why'd you stop it? But all four down. I mean, he had to get both of his palms down on the mat. Yeah, he was really intelligent. It was like, he was, it was open game. These guys got so much respect for each other. I mean, they've been around for so long. And they're the same age. Yeah. They're the exact same age. And they, they both have like, a very colorful history of fighting guys. I mean, three pioneers in the sport. But not only that, fighting guys that that they were underdogs. Yeah, it was kind of a wild uh, left hook from Fujita. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even see right that on one. Chin, yeah. yeah, sat him on his, on his backside and then just relentless. But both, he just had strikes. both palms down. You know, the referee just had no choice but to intervene. He had to stop it. Yeah, he was taking a lot of shots here. Yeah, there was nothing. He could have, he could have put his right, right arm up to try to block it. Yeah, or he could just try to. Left on that opportunity, and well, I didn't see this tonight. I thought uh, Ube Choi might actually push Fujita back. I, I, that's what I thought. I thought yeah. I was expecting uh, Ube Choi to be able to, to really get Fujita to the spot. Fujita, Fujita, Kazuki, and Suga, Sumi, and Sumi. Ladies and gentlemen, here, here is your winner by wins TKO, round number one, That's Kazayuki Fujita. He's on a run now, Fujita. Fujita gets one more, going to eight losses. Our career record. Our Yongjin Jung, once again, is going to go inside and interview.
Thank you.